black colleges for 800, please. The Oaks, former home of Booker T. Washington, and the George Washington Carver Museum are at this Alabama school. Morgan. What is Tuskegee? Correct. Golden Tigers, get ready for homecoming 2020 virtual style. The pandemic may have separated us, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate. We have some great programs lined up for you during this virtual homecoming. But first, take a look at this to get started. Outfit, get your snacks and drinks together, sit back and enjoy the weekend as we get inspired, learn a little bit, and ball and parlay. Hello, Tuskegee. I'm Milton C. Davis, class of 1971 graduating in political science. Today, it is my great honor to serve as the Grand Marshal for the 2021 homecoming festivities here at Mother Tuskegee. We know many of you wish to be here, but because of the pandemic, we have to come to each other virtually. But that doesn't damper the Tuskegee spirit. We know that when Mother Tuskegee calls, we respond, and we are here for each other. We want all to stay safe, so therefore we have to do this virtually, but that doesn't mean that the fun will be lessened. We are going to have a great, exciting, wonderful time at Tuskegee Homecoming 2021. Let's get ready, Tuskegee. The Tuskegee family is gathering. I'm Charlotte P. Bors, the ninth president of Tuskegee University. I'm very thrilled to welcome you to this year's virtual homecoming at Tuskegee University, the second one that we have had in the past two years, 2021. 
Our students and staff have been very busy preparing this event for you, and we know that you will have a very good time. Four days of events virtually, and you will enjoy alumni and friends. I hope that you are ready and ready to celebrate in the Tuskegee way. Let's have a fantastic time for Tuskegee University. To the graduates, let me congratulate you on this achievement, realizing a success that's been years in the making. My name is Kayla Hurd. I'm a fourth year architecture major here at Tuskegee University. I hope you all have a wonderful homecoming. And you know what we say here, T-U, you know.
So what we are, we're in the hallway again that we started out in, and in the hallway toward the back of the archives, you'll find three, four, excuse me, you'll find four cases. And each of those cases has specific items that are um, about individuals, about groups, et cetera, that were here at Tuskegee. Um, because we don't have a Tuskegee University Museum, uh, this is the best that we can do at the time. Um, you'll see in this case here information specific to Booker T. Washington and his time here at Tuskegee. You'll see a life mask of Booker T. Washington done by Isaac Scott Hathaway, uh, the first African American to be employed at Auburn University, but also employed here at Tuskegee. You'll see a piece of Booker T. Washington's cabin, which burned down long ago, the only piece that we know of of his cabin. You'll also see in the bottom part of this case a book, the Journal of the Early Women's Club here at Tuskegee. It was originally compiled by Margaret Murray Washington, the third wife of Booker T. Washington, a singularly important work. Behind me is a case that's filled with the information from Chester Higgins, Jr. Chester Higgins is one of our um, native sons. He was the editor of the school newspaper and the school photographer. His photographs have been seen all around the world. He's a world-renowned photographer, worked for the, Was uh, for the New York Times and others. Uh, he's published many books and many iconic photographs such as Duke Ellington or Lena Horne. And those are the, the iconic images that we all think of when we think of those individuals. Behind me are two cases that were installed just a few years ago. These cases highlight particular items re regarding individuals that are pertinent or important to Tuskegee University. In this case, you'll see a Bible that, that George Washington Carver owned and utilized every day of his life from the time that he graduated from Iowa State University. And what's interesting about this Bible is, uh, although it was full of notes that Carver had made, which are now found here in the archives but in a, another folder, also there's only one place in all the Bible that Carver underlined in all those years, and it's from Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, verse 6. And that verse, I think, epitomizes Carver's view of himself and the world. You'll also see in this case uh, a jacket owned by uh, Lionel Richie when he was with the Commodores. You'll see some of our political buttons. Uh, these are really interesting. Uh, the, this particular grouping was used by the Smithsonian on a display of political buttons a few years ago. Now, I've put in here some of the nicer buttons. We have some that are a little bit stronger in their language. But nonetheless, these are important reminders of Tuskegee's involvement and its presence amongst the civil rights movement. Behind me, is a case that is dedicated to Amelia Boynton Robinson. Amelia Boynton Robinson is such an important individual regarding Tuskegee and the civil rights movement. Many of you might know of her as the woman that was beaten on the Edmund Pettus Bridge on Bloody Sunday during the Selma to Montgomery March. Uh, this woman I got to know and to experience her in my life, and I loved her very much. She taught me much. Uh, and one of the things that she taught me was forgiveness and patience. 